a book that I'm reading at the moment. I just kept hearing about this guy's name, I think particularly during this pandemic, but even before the pandemic. Uh, and that was Viktor Frankl, who was an Austrian neurologist and he was a psychiatrist um, and experienced the Holocaust. So um, experienced some sort of incredible challenges in his own life. Um, and then it was also has a passion for psychology uh, and his book, Man's Search for Meaning, um, which has some amazing quotes in it. And this is just one here. Um, live, live as if you were living for the second time and if you had acted wrongly the first time. So I want you guys to think back at a moment where you might have made a mistake on the footy field. What was your next action like? It was probably with a fair bit of urgency um, to repay uh, the mistake you made for the team. So moving over to nutrition, um, yeah, Simone Austin, so I caught up with her on Wednesday. Um, I've just started this new, um, it's like a podcast sort of set up on Instagram where I'm catching up with specialists in their field. Uh, and Simone was the, the uh, nutritionist that I've, or she's a dietitian um, that I caught up with on uh, last Wednesday. And that's on my Instagram um, IGTV. If you missed that, it's, there's a recording there. Uh, and for the whole 30 minutes, just dropping gems. So if nutrition is an area that over this next page, you, you identify as an area that you want to work on the most, um, then definitely watch that segment. Uh, and her philosophy was very much around the athlete's ability to be able to cook for themselves is really, really important. Um, so then when you move out of home and your parents have done majority of your cooking, if you have cooking skills, and she mentioned at least three meals that you can make, um, then that's going to put you in good stead for the rest of your uh, athletic journey. And then, like I mentioned before, Matthew Walker, so he's a uh, neuroscientist and uh, psychologist and uh, he spent a lot of his research on um, sleep and if you're interested in reading a book on sleep um, this is the one that I'd recommend um, to get a deeper understanding of the importance of sleep um, and why some of the athletes like LeBron James and Roger Federer will during highly competitive periods um, whether it be the the NBA finals or um, a grand slam, they'll sleep over 50% of their day. So over 12 hours um, will be, they'll spend sleeping, whether it be 10 hours at night and then a couple of hours of drip feeding naps into their day. So um, whether you want to read the research or just understand what elite athletes are doing um, that have had a you know very long careers um, at the highest level, um, both, both are showing the importance of, of the uh, why you need a quality sleep in your life. The periodization model that we follow in football and, and other elite sports do it as well. So soccer um, is famous for it and, and some rugby teams. It's called funnel periodization. And simply what it means is that the, the training that you're doing over the year, the amount of load does fluctuate. Um, but doesn't change hell of a lot in terms of the weekly volumes that you hit, but it's the way that we do those volumes that changes significantly. So let's say over a given week, you're running up to 15K a week. What that looks like in November is 50% of that might be with no football in your hand, doing conditioning-based running. Um, and 50% of it is with a football in your hand doing skills. By the time it's March, at the pointy end of this funnel, we want to be as specific as we can. So it's playing scratch matches, small-sided games, 90% of the load of that 15K 